Hello there, this is Cactus Craft with another video, and today I'm doing something a little different. I'm doing Minecraft Survival, and I think I'm going to turn on the sound for a little bit. There. Actually, yeah, but today I'm going to do a little bit of survival on the uh, different server called, it's called TallCraft, and the server address is TallCraft.com. But yeah, the server is called tallcraft.com. It's the server address. So it's, all, it's called tallcraft.com. And I like it. Uh, and I'm hoping sometime I can do a multiplayer game on here. There's a mini game called Monsters Industries. I really want to do that. This is a brief fun game, I'd really like to record it. So yeah. I can't go inside. Yeah, so this is how basic mine starting it started. Monster Monster Industry is a really fun game. I recommend that you try it. That mine was so not worth it. I remember that one. Actually, I actually have kind of a story to tell today, so I think I'm going to see if I can find the area, but I was mining, you know, doing my usual thing is mining, and an admin, tell, uh, not an admin, but I should say staff on the server, they're, they're actually really like the server because staff do their job, they do it pretty well too, and the staff teleported to me, and it, and, you know, it's not a big deal to have to you in the mining have been using x-ray. Okay. And I wasn't, and I wasn't using x-ray or anything. I wasn't cheating. But I shared, you know, my little friend who might, and yeah. There's a mine. There was a mine. There's a mine there. There's a mine there. There's a mine there. And there's a mine there. And there's a mine there. And there's a lava over there. And what happened is I was down here, and just running on this mine over here, filling these in. I was about right here, filling this one in. He teleported to me right in front of me, and I was, I was like, "What are you doing?" Like, in in here thing, he scared me a lot. Like that scared me when the admin teleports me. It's kind of a scary skin, but it scared me a lot, and I. After that, I kind of just decided to quit playing that day because I had a, because that day was just on the server, just full of jump scares for me. But he teleported to me in my mind. But I asked him what he was doing. He said he would if he told me he'd have to kill me, which is obviously a joke. Um, yeah, and there is actual my shaft behind here. See. Now, the reason it's blocked off is at the end there's lava. So yeah, those are just close off. I just been kind of branching out, getting tons of orders. That's kind of how I do things. From or how I do things. What? I'm not gonna mine that cobblestone. Afraid it's lava. There's a lot of lava at bedrock. But like, it scared me, and that was the only thing that like scared me that day. I did, and I'm a noob. I didn't know this. But what happens is, I found a skeleton horse. You know, I tried riding it. Of course, what happens? The four horsemen of the apocalypse, apocalypse comes after me. And I am just running for my life in the game. I'm just running back. I jumped in those trap doors. But now here's the scarier part. I had lightning strike me. They shot me with their bows. I almost died. But now that's not the only thing. Skeleton horse. I had someone come over and help kill some skeleton horses, but they just keep on coming back. They're really annoying. And I don't have a bow, so I can't really kill them. But it turns out if you get close to him, I asked a friend, he's been kind of, you know, something about Minecraft. And I asked him, and he said that, oh, yeah, those, it's a horse. Uh, so I have a horse get struck by lightning. And what happens is when you get near that horse, it finds the four horsemen, so the finds four horsemen in the apocalypse. And. 
walking out on an adult, and then there's a horseman on that horse, and that horse is essentially a minion. That was new to me. And there is a horse out there right now, that's a skeleton horse. Yeah, it's fast, we don't want to reveal that on camera, but... Yeah, there's a skeleton horse, that's what these signs are about, don't, telling you not to go outside because of it. But, I just, and here's the thing, now, here's the thing, they, they chase you down, the four horsemen apocalypse. And, after that, people start hearing lightning on the thunder on the server. This repeated thunder. I wasn't the only one hearing it. It was because, okay, so this, this corner right here, actually had to terraform the area out there. It looks natural because this is actually jetting outside. So this isn't that deep underground. Because we're on a hill and go outside the hill. And the four horsemen of the apocalypse were all right here on top of me. They were above ground. I was underground. And they were tracking me through the ground, I think. But there was a glitch where when you're near them, you just get perpetual lightning. So I was in here getting perpetual lightning, and I was like, what's the worst case scenario? They can't get me down here because this door's locked, actually. And I have infinite melons from a melon farm back there that's hidden on the wall. You can hear the minecart because of it. It's an actual automatic melon farm. It's in the pan, uh, Piss and Translocation bug, and I might do a tutorial on that soon. Where it's, it's actually very neat, very simple. And in my mind, very cost effective. In fact, I built one on the server for everyone to use as spawn. Because I believe everyone should have melons. At least melons. But, I just, and, so, and you know, the kind of bad thing was, I tried building underground to, you know, make it, you know, not pain to see. This one wanted to waste a waste tin from their house, so, um kind of ruined that for them, so I offered just to water kind of make it like an oasis, or just covered up with sand. And I'm just waiting for a response from them. That's my friend's room. It's also his room. And, yeah. So, I, that, that, was been, that, was, that was a project that took a fair amount of resources, and gold, and iron, and time. We were not, it took a fair amount of time, because it saved a hole, and all that. Well, built the roof, get all the materials over there. It's a lot easier building one over there when I just have to run from here to there. We're teleporting everywhere. I mean, yeah, I, you know, I decided to build a melon farm. And on the server, we're going to be implementing the auction system soon. If we were not, uh, if you ever plan on Mega Realm, I should say that. I should say, if you ever plan on Mega Realm, you'll know what this is because you can do slash auction and it'll do whatever's in your hand and stuff. And they're planning on adding this to the server too. Adding that to the server too. Which I really like. I don't really like the server store thing. I don't make around, however. I don't really use, use auctions that much. Because when I make something, I always end up making mass production. And whenever that, I'm having someone pay like a dollar for it. And it's just not worth it. I, I actually lose on that. So, because of auction, item after item after item, like, I was, for a little bit, I was auctioning just potions, I don't know, speed potions, I mass-produced them. I had a sugarcane farm and everything, I just started mass-producing potions, because I had free brewing stand, so I could literally perpetually brew potions, like, I would, it was like a factory, sort of. But, I was only getting one dollar for an item, so that's why I started using the server store, because the server store is really easy to get to and stuff. Very useful, and I could sell cactus there, cactus and sugarcane. So that's why I decided to make my like make my killing because it actually worked. P uh, the server store they don't really the price is adjust. You know, if you make some mass quantities, they won't pay a dollar for it. They'll pay full price because it's just signs and command blocks, so it doesn't adjust. Well, every time it does actually adjust every time they reset the store in the game. But that's different. And also on the server, the, the kind of the cool thing about the server, it doesn't really reset. They never really reset anything. Like they do trade on old buildings, like you know, if, if 
from three years ago that has that haven't been touched. So do her that. So you have to play her constantly, essentially. If you want to keep your stuff. I mean, no one's been a constantly, but playing here kind of frequently, you know, maybe just log on once every week or something. Just so your stuff doesn't get destroyed. And I'd recommend if you're going to be on survival. I mean, I do have creative and stuff too, which is really awesome. They have creative, they have a dropper server, they have a, mo they have a mini game server, which I haven't seen anywhere else. First place I've seen it. It's really, it's really unique, it's called Monster Industries, and I found a few bugs in it, such as you can break certain paintings and all that. But, um, yeah, that's, it was very neat to me. Yeah, I me and my friends, I'll, like, today we played Monster Industries. Yesterday we played Monster Industries for hours. We played this, for, and keep in mind, I want to record this game, because I... We play it for hours, hours on end. We would set the game so long, and we, we would just replay game after game after game with each other. Because it's that fun. We just binge play it. We binge play it for like 10 hours a day. So, if you're, if you, you, you may not be, but you should subscribe to the game the way it ate Justin, which I have linked to my, linked on my channel. I like that channel. I watch it myself, and they were talking in. He recently uploaded a video about becoming, you know, joining the YouTuber server, which I don't think I'm going to do. And, one, and the one thing he said is, he, you know, he was joking and he said you have to play on your 7 hours a day, every day. And she's just saying, me and my friends probably could. I mean, we actually might. Now, I know my friends are YouTubers, but, you know, I I would do, I could do that easily. That's why I do on this server. I play on there for like 10 hours a day, every day. This is a, I don't even play really on any other server anymore because I like this server so much. It's just what happens. Like, watch this, my friend's door seat's locked. It's kind of neat. I can't even break it or anything, which I think that's pretty neat. I think it's a really neat feature. The cool thing is, you can't lock blocks, so I can go like this, just tunnel right in there. Oh no. Well, that's gonna be. Just go in, yeah. Um, yeah, so, I'm also a friend of the server, in the survival, he wants me to make him a super smelter. Um, and it's just an automatic smelter that smelts things. Apparently he's never gotten it to work, and if you want, I can do a tutorial on that. If you really want to see that, leave a comment. If, you, if you'd want to see anything, just leave a comment about it, I read comments. If there's anything you want to know and want to want to see, just leave a comment about it because I will read it. Cause I don't get a bajillion comments. I get a few, so I can easily read through all of them. And and I wonder, next year in school, will they let us read on our phones? And I could just read comments. And be like, yeah, I read, for a book, I read my comments. That would that would be cool, because then I could like legit, you know interact with the community and kind of get my schoolwork done at the same time. So, I find that I, they're probably going to say no to that. Just because YouTube probably considers social media in their mind. I got, and it is. There's Google Plus and stuff. I mean, Google Plus isn't as popular as Twitter, or Facebook, or Instagram, or Snapchat. Probably not even MySpace. If you know what that is. If you know what MySpace is, yeah, very old. I don't know what MySpace is, though. Actually, should I? I think I will. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do survive. I think I might do some survival stuff like that. Also, one, although there's something that I don't like about the server, but exists on every server, which is redstone. Redstone, you cannot use redstone. Broken Shield MC, which I played on for a little bit, 
they don't like redstone, the server don't like redstone, Omega Run doesn't allow redstone, so. And I'm talking about creative. And so probably they allow it, but. And in Skybox, Omega Run allows in quotes redstone because I had a redstone clock, but they have, they have plugins that disable them. So every time you log off, they this it, it, it automatically disables them, makes them full loop. So that was kind of my inspiration behind the rage clock. Actually, is Omega Realm, you know, doing their thing. If you notice about that pointer, you can see that it's actually not white. It is an inverted color. See, it's blue right now. It's blue and black and stuff like that. I don't know. Most people notice that. Um, yeah. I'm not going outside because uh, one thing I don't want to get with password. Second of all, I don't want to die. But you know, I'm gonna go mining. I think mining's a great idea. So I've been just sitting around here too long. Like, I've just been sitting here way too long. You know, really, I should just do a voice over this, but I'm not. And I am doing this at about 11 at night. So. Yeah, sweet schedule, perfect, haha. <laughs> Just kidding, not. Well, I do this every night, so. This is never gonna be perfect ever again. My sleep schedule is never gonna work. My sleep, my sleep schedule is officially broken and dead. After my sleep schedule, I stay up till midnight every night. <laughs> That's my sleep schedule. I'll stay up till midnight every night. That's a perfect plan for every day. Just kidding, not. I don't know. You can leave a comment on what you think it's, what you do for sleep. Like, how late do you stay up usually? My usual is midnight. So. This is usual for me. I'm playing on the server actually around this time too. There isn't a lot of people on though. There are a fair, few, fair amount of people on the, on the dropper server, but that is a 1.10 server, which... Currently, I am having issues with 1.10 crashing, uh, having mini, the mini dump thing. I couldn't find any way to fix it. I tried every way I could, couldn't fix it. Now, I did get to run for a little bit longer than usual by by using Windows compatibility mode, and, like making it run like as if it's on like Windows Vista and stuff like that, like. Not good, not really good things. It was running as if it's on Windows Vista. It'll decrease the performance of the game, resulting in worse videos. So, yeah, don't want that. My videos are already pretty, pretty framey and choppy, as you can see. So, and I know what, and I've been working on that. I've been finding ways on how to get, you know, you get better video. I'm trying to lessen the strain on my computer so it, I can get 60 frames while re re recording. I'm trying. I know no, I, my recording software. I use OBS and um. I'm, oh yeah, I should tell a funny story. So I asked some. I someone asked me. I someone's asking like, how do you take a screenshot on a Mac on a Chromebook at school? And so I kind of mess with them. I say. You use OBS, and I, and they actually asked me, where do you get OBS? And I go, oh yeah, OB, obsproject.com, which is, I believe the website, don't quote me on that. And, then, and I was like, actually, no, just don't get it. It's for video recording. It's not available for MacBooks anyways. So it was like a huge troll. I mean, if, and they didn't, and they didn't, I don't know much about computers, so they didn't know that wasn't available for Chromebooks. They didn't know that was for video recording, such as Minecraft. The time I did YouTube too, so they didn't know that either. A few people know that. Like if you meet me in person, you don't know I'm in jewelry, so But they didn't know that at the time, so I was like it was like a, a massive hilarious troll. And this was an ELA class, so keep that in mind. Uh oh, what is that? Actually, Oh no. That's not my way to go, I guess. Yeah. This is this is right next to the mine where I found lava. So yeah, that's perfect. Don't wanna mind that because I don't want lava pouring on my head. 
and even the worst part is, I don't have. Okay, fire slime, fire zombie. I don't have. I didn't have cobbles on my hot bar, so I have a port on my head. I couldn't do a thing about it, other than just run. What? And anyway, I'm just going crazy. I think I'm just going crazy. Ooh, redstone. Hey, that was the town square. I'm sharing the power of redstone. Yummy, yummy redstone. Actually, what I think would be useful is the rest of they die. I think that would be useful. If you use on the stack, 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 This actually kind of blows my mind. Are you kidding me? <laughs> my diamond. My diamond. Oh boy. My diamond. That my diamond, boy. Oh, this mine officially going to be condemned now. I bet I just mine one more block. One more block. Couple more blocks, maybe? Couple more blocks. Really? Boom. If not now. I still don't feel comfortable with this. Oh, that was so dumb of me. Yeah, not worth it. The diamond got it. Either way, the diamond was getting destroyed. I'd rather have taken that chance than, you know, just leave it there. But either way, I wasn't getting it, so. Alright, just take a chance. Oh well, got four diamonds. Good day for me. Don't usually get that. Actually, after a um, three hour mining session, I do. I usually get more than. I usually get like 20. Which isn't that. Oh, isn't a lot. But officially condemned. That's gonna have to be cut. Um. Yeah, I I got glows. I don't know. This is like plugging that get glowstone for mining dirt. So yeah. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. So anyways, I am Cactus Craft. I am out. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you'd like to see more subscribe uh, survival or monster industry, leave a comment down below saying what you would like to see. I am Cactus Craft, and I am out.